Good morning guys, so Dan from Trading with Dan here, hope you guys are all well, hope you guys are all safe in this um, this crazy market. Um, so yeah, over to the 15 minute DMT for Bitcoin. Um, yeah, you can see that sell trade, um, I mean I did obviously take the profit on it and it did go massively offside and I thought about re-entering on the bot account, um, but that obviously technically wouldn't be a bot trade. So. Um, so I didn't so I just thought it might like I might fudge the results a little bit um, so I'd left that off but I did I did actually sell into this rally in my um, my own my own separate accounts uh, my non automated accounts um, so that was great to wake up this morning at 7600 and um, where I did actually just take the position off because I mean that was just a, enough profit for me to have taken from the trade um, I did suspect that would come lower um, but obviously I was happy with the gains um, so that was that um, but yeah so we have we have taken another leg lower um, it is a shame we didn't take this leg straight straight down from here that would have been a, an amazing trade for us but um, there is um there is always the aspect of um, watching the DMT and using that to help you with your manual non bot trading so like you can see here for example um, you get the buy um, if you come back down and test the buy line um, and bounce off it, then you can you can normally scalp a good a good few hundred few hundred dollars of price action. Um, like you see here, we have the sell. Um, if you basically come up to the sell line and reject from it um, or near to the sell line, then you can, obviously there's a good few hundred dollars of price action. And there's quite a few occasions where this happens. Like you can see um, on this buy here, we get the buy. You come back, we test the buy line, we don't break it, we bounce off it. We test the buy line, we don't break it, we bounce off it. Um, these, these lines are formed obviously um, based on the volatility of the market. So if it does get to the line and doesn't break it, it's, it's possible, it's quite likely it's going to reject off it. So obviously again here, you can see rejected off the line when we're in a sell trade. I mean, we're in quite a strong downtrend trend here, so it was difficult for it to get that close to the line. But you can see whenever it got within, obviously this close, we rejected off, rejected from near the line. Um, and yeah, there's there's plenty of other examples. Um, we have spoke about this before. Um, but yeah, so I was taking shorts in my um, non-automated account, so that was great, great to wake up to that. Um, but yeah, but a bit unfortunate that we had this um, this this price action here. Um, that basically didn't get us in the get us in the cell. But what we can have a look at, well, it did get us in the cell. But um, that I don't, I wouldn't suggest holding trades quite that far offside. But um, you you are you can do if you just want to hold it from buy to sell or just only sell it when we break or only because I when we break above the line. But that that's not um, how I how I do it. Um, but we could measure that. That would have been so as long as your stop was over over four percent. Well, actually, that's where the line is. But I mean, we got to as long as your stop was over three and a half percent, then you wouldn't have got stopped out. But I don't think that is a an acceptable level of risk for me. Um, but yeah, so twenty five minute dominator, twenty five minute dominator um, did well for you though. Um, it got in a sell. Uh, never looked like. Um, obviously, got in a sell higher. So this level here wasn't so bad for you. wasn't wasn't so much pain. Obviously, you've seen it going that much profit and then come back, but um, you're obviously now plenty lower so but yeah the 25 minute DMT is uh, still a strong sell um, obviously everything is going to be a sell now with this move down five minutes I mean every time frame um, but yeah so at the moment it is a case of waiting for this next leg down to play out uh, I'm sure you guys are aware that we are following the stock market down um, so yeah, so that was um, why I was pretty confident selling this rally here because stock markets at that time futures weren't doing anything like anything potentially bullish, anything especially bullish. So um, it did just seem like this was just a bit of a, a Bitcoin, Bitcoin action, price action, a Bitcoin short squeeze um, for some of those 50x, 50x longs. 100x longs um, and then obviously capitulation lower in some um, te textbook price action I was pretty certain when we did get back down to this set 7600 level again that we were going to break it this time especially after having I mean this is this is a tech this is what a market will do it'll basically you'll all get short you'll all think we're going down it will then stop you all out and um, stop as many as you can out with a counter trend rally and then come boom and just take all out and all the way through I mean that is that's just textbook price action I mean we saw a similar thing on a smaller scale here we see it all the time we actually saw it when we had we had that big 10,000 whatever that big spike that we had that time um, 
Um, that spike up, where is it? It's going to show on this this chart, isn't it? You guys know the one that I mean, anyway. Where we spiked up to um, ten thousand five hundred um, in like pretty much like a a day or so, and then we um, and then we came down. It must be before this. Yeah, sorry, here it is. I was getting that. Yeah, so obviously we had this rally up. Um, everyone's getting bearish. Everyone's getting super short. We have the rally squeeze up. Stop all the all the shorts out. Stop all the the shorts, and then we then proceed to sell lower. Um, it, that's obviously on a larger scale, but um, that's how that's that's the games that are played in markets. The yeah, there's weak hands, there's strong hands, and then you can have strong hands that just get wrecked eventually because the market keeps going in the other direction. Um, so it's just what it is. Is what it is. Um, Ethereum, 15 minute. Um, Ethereum, 15 minutes. Obviously, still going to be in the sell trade. Um, nothing, nothing's going to change there. Um, Ethereum getting absolutely hammered here. Um, what is it? I mean, yeah, Bitcoin's down six percent today, just under six percent. Ethereum's down 14.8 percent. So that's getting absolutely hammered. Um, but then we did we noticed that was weaker yesterday. But then we also we do know that um, altcoins have a higher beta, so they are going to um, move more in the direction that Bitcoin moves percentage wise. Um, so yeah, wow, that's um, pure destruction there. So if you were short from the dominator and Ethereum, what is a relatively safe non-volatile market uh, around here, you then could pretend wait if you're just waiting from sell to sell, sell to basically buy, which we have been talking about. This is a 15 minute. So this is a 15 minute dominator. So actually, we can ignore this and we'll, we'll go to the 25 minute when it went from sell. So it went from sell here, pretty much the same niche level. That is a 16, 16, 15 percent gain, 16 percent gain. Um, I am actually going to set this up. Um, I spoke about it with some other guys in that in in the group. Um, basically, I'm going to maybe do it from just sell to sell. Maybe with like some profit targets and trading profits, but quite wide um, trading take profits to give the the trade a chance. But like, if you go from like obviously we've done it, we did it yesterday from sell to buy, buy to sell, and then sell to sell, sell to wherever the sell wherever it ends up being, and obviously buy to buy so buy sorry buy to sell so it went from buy to then when it clicked sell it was up as well so something to um another string to add to our bow um but yeah and um, we were talking about the oil market yesterday as well and um, we had a ma that massive jump a drop i was i was literally saying to you guys yesterday i was saying oil at these levels is just ridiculous like with what's going on um we were i think we we're trading we were trading yesterday basically over 33 33.6 something and then obviously we, we basically broke down today and went out 31 and and we are going lower we are going back into the 20s and um, but yeah that was um not that um i expect anybody to take in short oil signals but it was pretty obvious the way that was going um but yeah so um that is it for this morning um so remember none of this is financial advice i am not a financial advisor um, yeah, be careful in the markets, guys, because we're getting to that point again where the plunge protection team, extraordinary central bank measures, government, um, government stimulus packages, and everything, all that jazz, all those, um, all those things that cause short-term price movements um, that um, are usually faded, but still nonetheless can 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 uh, result in vicious counter trend moves. Um, all those things are all going to be on the table today because there's. Yeah, if they don't, then then the S the S and P is going definitely going going sub two thousand five hundred today, and then oil will be sub thirty again today, which will be a world of world of pain for so many banks. Um, yeah, just a lot of people basically. Um, not the consumer mind, obviously cheaper oil. I mean, they forget about that. I mean, how bad it is for everybody else, but like, um, oil is like an input cost into everything, pretty much um so um a reduced input cost into everything and deflation um deflating prices um is good for people but it's not good for um central banks and people rich people and the, and the elite with assets that they need to keep um inflation positive and deflation is their worst enemy it's central banks worst enemy it's uh, it's governments it's reckless spe recklessly spending governments worst enemy um but it is not the people's worst enemy but obviously as you pretty much know um the government it's governments and central banks are pretty much against the general um the general um, benefit of the general of the normal population so it, it goes to figure that what is good for the general population is not good for the central banks and and for um for big government 
Um, yep, so there you go. Anyway, there's my two cents worth on that. Um, so um, I will speak to you guys later. So again, not financial advice, um, and I will speak to you guys soon.